Hey guys, Andrew here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we're going to look at the new waterproof 5 litre packs. Right, from Nightcore and 20 litre packs. Okay, so this is the WDB05 and this is the WDB20. Why this is the best option if you're looking for discreet and rugged waterproof dry bag, plus the many different ways you can set it up. So if you're here watching this, then you're probably looking for a waterproof dry bag of some kind or are frustrated with the one you currently have. So when it comes to waterproofing, the traditional way would be to use these uh, bag covers, right? So something like this. This is a bag at the back, then you have this uh, umbrella material kind of a cover that wraps around the bag. But they give you limited protection from rain because the water will still seep in through the straps at the back. Alright, then eventually, you know, everything gets soaked. To solve this problem, brands have been exploring all kinds of uh, waterproof materials and construction techniques. You know, some of the highest end waterproof bags costing up to a thousand dollars, right? So, but, you know, some of you might say, why pay so much when you can just put your things in, you know, tiny Ziploc bags and then you just put in your bag to keep them dry. Right, you can, but once your bag gets soaked, it's gonna be much heavier because of all the water it absorbed. Plus, it's gonna take days for it to dry out and then the smell that comes from it later is something that you don't want. So if you're always out and about in raining weather or you know do a lot of activities around water, right? A real proper waterproof backpack is essential to keeping all of your gear dry. So as a buyer, what should I look out for, right? How do I choose a great pack? When it comes to waterproof bags, there are only three things you need to look out for. You know, one, material, which directly affects your pack's durability. Two, construction and three, the different ways to carry. So first up is materials. There are many waterproof materials on the market, but the problem with a lot of them is durability. Especially if you are a professional or tactical user, you don't want your pack to rip a big hole as soon as you, you know, drag it along the ground. So the most common waterproof bags you find on the market today are PVC type bags like this. Right, they're usually uh, colourful, affordable and geared towards civilian use. But they're stiff, you know, has a plasticky feel and will crack and lose their colour over time under hot or dry weather. So they can also easily be ripped or cut or poked through by anything sharp. The next upgrade to that are ripstop plus PPU coated fabric. So for example, like this one from the good guys at Overboard. These are fabric on the outside and then if you look inside, they are PPU material. So this is waterproof on the inside. These are thinner, lighter and more flexible but not as rugged if you're going to you know, drag it on the road or ground, use just daily carry, throw it around. Ripstop is designed to stop rips. That's why you see a square grid in the fabric, right? You can see the grid here. So if you poke a hole through it and it starts to rip, right? The next square will stop that rip. So that's why it's called ripstop. Right? It's a good material for normal civilian use. But if you're looking for something even tougher, more discreet, something that doesn't scream waterproof and tells the world how much your back holds, you know, in the big bowl numbers, <laughs> then we have to look at the high-end military pack. So this is actually the MP20 underneath. Right, it's made from 500D fabric. There are different grades up to 1000D fabric. The bigger the number, the denser the fabric. Then the heavier it is and the more resistant to abrasion. Okay, but these are not waterproof until you bond additional layers of TPU or PU coatings, then it becomes composite TPU fabric. You know, a perfect mix of durability, waterproofing, it's stronger, lighter and flexible in all conditions without the weakness of the first two types of materials. Right? They are being used by Australian Special Forces to protect their gear against the elements. And yes, you guessed it, it's also the same material used in Nightcore's new 5 liter and 20 liter waterproof dry bags specifically the 500D TPU fabric. So in case you are wondering, the Spec Ops guys that I mentioned earlier, they are using 840D TPU fabric. So you might ask, why not just use 1000D TPU fabric, right? Two factors, cost and weight. Beyond 600D, the cost to make these fabrics rise exponentially, right? But the abrasion resistance does not rise along with it. So the most cost effective grade is around 500D. Weight is a problem as well. 1000D fabrics are commonly used in body armor. So if you use such thick fabric, an empty bag would weigh a lot even before you add your own load. So that's why they chose the 500D weight. It's the perfect balance of cost, weight and durability. Right, but having the best material is one thing. The next thing you need is construction and the different ways to carry. Right, so let's go through the 5 liter pack first. This is the WDB05. Okay, it comes in a flat pack like this. Okay, front and back. 
on the inside there are no organization uh, pockets that I put a light in so you can see what exactly is inside the bag right it's completely clean right it's coated PU on the top layer so you can see here this is very different from the ripstop fabric right this is PU coated 500D material it has a matte finish so it doesn't like reflect or shine with the light and the top here is thinner 210D fabric so it rolls easily Alright, so how does this look like when it's packed fully? Right, so I have uh, a one here that is packed full of bubble wrap. Right, you can see that I filled it with uh, 5 liters full of uh, bubble wrap. Okay, so first you need to punch out all the air. Right, or if you want this to be a floating device, you can leave the air in and roll it. Right, so I'm punch out all the air. So you can see the numbers here 1, 2, 3. So that's the number of times you need to roll it to ensure airtight seal. Okay, so as you roll it, one, right, two, and then three. All right, can you see three here? Then you can secure it this way. All right, first buckle down. Then these handles, you can either go down to the side or up as a loop. There. So the whole thing actually floats. It's like it's airtight. You can see the air is all stuck inside. So you can have this as a handle on top here. On the back, there's another handle here. So all the handles on this pack are actually very uh, big and broad. So it's very easy to grab, especially if you're just floating in the water, you reach out to it, you just grab and go. So the top part, you have two dealing loops here, which attach to the included sling, right? So this come with it as a shoulder sling. So you can either mount it up here. Okay, so you carry it this way. Okay, from the top or can catch it to the side this way there's another loop here on the side so then you have a messenger style kind of a sling now the alternate way to carry this is looping this downwards down okay goes to the side there okay then you have this connected to the dealing loops here yeah, so now they are connected to the side loops. Okay, then you can carry this as a shoulder sling to the side pouch in this way. Alright, so there are many different ways to carry the 5 liter pack. Okay, all seams are also welded, so it's a smooth, airtight seal. So you see there's no uh, stitching or you know any kind of fabric. It's completely welded for a smooth, airtight seal. So if you drop the whole thing in water, it will float. Okay, of course, being night call, you can also add one of these uh, NU05 beacon lights. The back is actually a mole belt look. So you can add this to any uh, spot on your pouch, right? For example, I'm going to add it front here. There, right? So you can very nicely add uh, the beacon here on the buckle, right? It doesn't affect use. Right? This, this beacon actually goes from to red flash to white to white flash right so in terms of visibility especially at night you know your back can always be found it can be used as an emergency uh, flotation marker even right for whatever reason and or, or an emergency first aid kit for everyone to see like you just leave this on the uh, right the lowest red flashing dot at the corner of your camp so everyone can see they know where the first aid kit is okay so UTX buckles on the side here all buckles are UTX and won't become brittle over time and are commonly used in high-end bags, okay? But if you want something bigger, then we can move on to the WDB20, which is this one, all right? So again, it comes in a flat pack like this, a giant flat pack, okay? All right, there. So it has two storage pockets inside, one with a zipper, one without. It's, it goes very deep in, so you can actually fit a 13-inch MacBook inside the pocket. There. Sits all the way in, right? So it actually goes quite deep into the back, okay? So the pocket goes all the way to the end here, right? Now once it's fully packed, you can seal it in two ways as well, right? So I'm going to show you the fully packed version. So this here, I have it packed full of uh, bubble wrap fully bubble wrap packed to simulate a full compartment so the same 
the way you would seal this is two ways first. Roll the top. Alright, once it's put down enough, you can put it down to the side buckle here. Alright, one to the side buckle and the other side buckle here. Okay? These two straps will help you compact whatever gear you have inside. This one as well. In the back. These are the two straps, the them strap. So the way it carries, it looks like this. All right, so you realize it's a, it's a very uh, minimalist look. Right? There's no screaming logos or anything. It sits nice and flush against the back. Right, sternum strap here for adjustment. The straps are also wide and comfortable. Pull back is low profile, it doesn't draw attention to yourself. Right, the second way to seal it is to flip the buckles up, creating a handle loop, right? All right, compress it a bit more again. Start rolling four times. Once it's done four times. All right, then loop the buckles to the top, forming a handle. All right, so now you have a handle to grab on the top like this. There's also a nylon handle on the back. It depends on where you want to carry it. Okay, two different ways to seal the back. The shoulder straps can also be removed. Right here, buckle on top. Just remove the strap. At the bottom, remove the strap. Move, move there. Two shoulder straps. Now you have a clean storage pack. You can also use it as a you know, heavy duffel. Right, the, with the tightening straps here, these two front tightening straps, they can also be used as a handle. Right, just grab and go. On the side, you can flip this around. Right, on the side, flip the buckles around. And they also become carry handles on the side. Both sides carry handles. Pick up from the top, drag from here. Right, so it's you can reach it while it's floating in the water from all sides and just grab and go. Especially if you have uh, gloves on or you know in very very wet, slippery conditions. All the different straps, the way it, it is where it is, you can easily just grab your pack and go. Right? These straps on top not only, not only help you compact the gear you're carrying, but you can just pull to tighten it down. Right? You can pull to tighten it down. You can also unbuckle them, put stuff here, and then buckle them back to secure whatever you have, you know, on top of your bag. Okay? Laser cut, mole webbing in front, lets you attach anything you want. Again, you can attach the NU05 beacon light, you know, something like this. You can have as many as you want on the front here, or you can add all your compatible mole posters and pouches and, you know, whatever lights you want here. Okay, so many people see waterproof bags as bags to keep water out but it can also be used to keep wet items inside so you don't leave a trail of dripping water everywhere you go or you know to keep the rest of your vehicle dry for instance especially the 5 liter pack this pack is great for holding wet items in a larger dry bag like this okay so you can get the 5 liter pack put all your wet stuff after your activity dump it in and then the rest of the pack is dry on the inside Right. So now you start to realize that you know these packs were designed for a specific type of user. Right? Someone who needs above average durability, needs a discreet, professional looking aesthetics that don't scream, hey look, I have a waterproof 20 liter dry bag, right? So you can't see the logo on the pack at all. Yeah, it's cleverly hidden behind the buckle here. Right? So if you've been looking for a mil spec level waterproof pack without the loud colors and all that. This WDB 20 liter and WDB 05 pouch are the way to go. So now you know the two things to look out for when looking for a great waterproof bag. Right, composite materials are the best now in 2021. TPU combined with 500 or 600D fabric, right? Along with the need to have different ways to carry. Because when it comes to water activities, you may not always be carrying the bag on your back. Right, you may, might use it as storage, secure it down on a kayak, canoe, or you know, or secure it to something else even, you know, with these two straps. That's where this, all of these different straps come in handy, right? You can secure this to anything. So don't bother with cheap, you know, PVC tube bags. If you really want your pack to last a long time, get a proven pack up front so you don't have to keep 
replacing the cheap ones that fade, crack, or you know, become sticky over time. These are all in stock now at nightcallerx.com. It's 89 Singapore dollars for the 20 liter pack here and just $39 for the 5 liter pack. Of course, this little beacon light is not included, right? You can buy this separately. Wholesale pricing is available as well if you get them in sets of 3 or 10 pieces. There's also a 3 month installment plan, so there's literally no excuse to take advantage of these incredible drive bags, especially if you're looking for upgrade. If you need to buy in bulk for your organization, just contact me directly and I'll be able to work out a deal for you. As usual, these will sell out really fast. We are really actually quite low on stock on the 5 liter version, so order yours today. Alright, once your order is placed, we'll courier everything to your door within a couple of days. Link to orders in the description below. As usual, this comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk at all. You can buy like uh, two of these and then you realize, hey, I prefer a larger pack. Send everything back, sub it for the larger pack and then just top up whatever balance, okay? So that's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, where we help you choose the best lights and gear for your work adventures, subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video. Alright, MJ signing out.